Hello and welcome to our channel, Tech Expert Tutorials. This is another video in our series on useful Python modules. Today, we will be showing you how to create architecture diagrams for your project using the Diagrams Python package. The project can be cloud-based or it can be on-premise. We will cover examples of each today. Our first example is a simple AWS project consisting of a load-balanced Kubernetes cluster, Lambda functions, and a Postgres database. To create the diagram, you need to import some diagram modules as shown here. Then you create a diagram with a name. Inside this code block, you add the components you need. In this case, we add an elastic load balancer, a Kubernetes cluster, and an API gateway. Then we add a cluster of Lambda functions using the cluster function and create three different Lambda functions inside. Last, we create a database instance. To put everything together on the diagram, Use the double greater than sign indicating the relationships and the flow within the application. Now I'm going to show you the diagram that we have created. You see the name was my app, so we look for my app. This is the diagram. It shows an external user accessing the application through an elastic load balancer, which splits up the jobs within a Kubernetes cluster of containers. These containers access Lambda functions through an API gateway. Then the output of the Lambda function is stored in a Postgres database. In the next example, we'll be creating a diagram that includes an internet gateway, accessing a network, which is set up on a VPC, having some route tables. The route tables point to a public subnet and then a private subnet. Public subnet will have an EC2 instance. The private subnet will have a primary and secondary Postgres instance. Then we put everything together. As you can see here, there are two lines, including the greater than sign. Each one will branch out separately from the other. So in this case, EC2 will point to RDS1 and EC2 will also point to RDS2. So now we look for my diagram and here's what it looks like. The internet gateway pointing to the route table, which directs the traffic to the EC2 instance, which is running on a public subnet, which then points to a primary and secondary Postgres instance. This is all running on a VPC. Here we have an example diagram for Google Cloud Platform. We have multiple systems that send a message to a GCP pub sub service. The messages flow to several possible destinations. One of the destinations is a data lake BigQuery storage service. Another is an engine that sends to Bigtable. And then finally, we have a function that points to an app engine. In this case, we mix the flow inside the script, as you can see here, with the rest of the flow at the bottom. Now we're ready to run the script to create the diagram. Okay, now it's time to go look at the diagram, GCP message collecting. And this is what it looks like. You can see our three cores sending to PubSub, which then goes through our data flow to our destinations. The last example shows you how you can use this package to draw diagrams for scripts or applications. Here, the local application takes some input and then makes a decision. And then, based on some condition, it sends the input to a database or a document. From the code, you can see decisions should point to database or document inside of our diagram. This is the output diagram from our script. The repo with this code, along with some other examples, can be found in the description below. That's all we have for today. Thank you for watching. See you next time.